So if you've spent any amount of time on guitar internet, guitar YouTube over the last 10 years or so, you probably know Greg Koch and Greg Koch's playing. Uh, for years, I've been watching Greg on the Wildwood Guitars YouTube channel. It was pretty regular uh, YouTube viewing for me. Uh, and now I try and tune into his weekly live streams over on his channel as much as possible. But a few weeks ago, he was here with his band in Atlanta, Koch Marshall Trio. And I went with my dad and it was an experience. I think Greg Koch is one of, if not the most versatile guitar players alive today. The guy can play everything. He can play rock, he can shred, he can chicken pick, he can play jazz. Really, there aren't many players alive today that can match Greg Koch in their versatility and their mastery of the instrument. And on top of that, he could not be a nicer guy or a more fun person to hang out with. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite elements of Greg's playing, trying to dissect what he's doing and hopefully implement a couple of things uh, from his mastery of the guitar into our own playing. Now, before we jump into the video, a couple of quick things. First of all, I've got a brand new guitar theory mini course coming out next week. This is called the Bare Bones Guitar Theory Course, and this is a one hour course just stripped down to the very basic must know pieces of guitar theory that I think every player should know. You can find more information via the link in the description box down below. Down there, I'm also gonna have links to Greg's YouTube channel, uh, his website. You can catch he and his band, Cock Marshall Trio, on tour, uh, as well as links to his teaching material. He's got his own video courses and, and books and all kinds of teaching material I will have available down below. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at some of Greg's playing. Okay, so this first clip was from his show at Vinkman's here in Atlanta, and my dad actually shot this, so thanks to my dad for uh, sending this over. But check this out. Okay, so this is the first thing I love about Greg's playing. He's got so much personality in his sound and in his approach and in his improvisation. He's one of the few players that you can immediately recognize who it is by the first handful of notes that they play. And I think that's actually a sign of a truly great musician of, of any stripe, but especially guitar players. There's no mistaking Greg and his playing. It is so uniquely him, and it is unlike any other guitar player out there today. But there are elements of other great players. Like you can tell Greg has studied the likes of Danny Gatton and Chet Atkins, but just the the stamina to be able to do this, to play at that speed with that level of ferocity for as long as he can and improvise that way for an entire night. I mean, he did this for a whole show, for a whole 90 minute set and it didn't stop. Now, obviously I'm not old enough to have seen Stevie Ray Vaughan play, but the things that I've heard about seeing Stevie live and a lot of the live footage I've watched over the years of Stevie shows that he had that same kind of ferocity. And I think that's a, a rare thing for a guitar player to play and to improvise with that level of energy and ferocity and not stop and play at that speed and that tempo and that intensity for as long as they can. Truly, truly special. The other thing that's great about that is you can hear Greg's personality. You know, I've watched him for years on uh, the Wildwood guitar channel where he's demoing guitars and that's some of the most entertaining guitar content I think anyone can watch because of Greg's personality. He's quick, he's incredibly funny, and that is reflected in his playing. He's he's kind of throwing in sort of these musical jokes or these auditory jokes with his playing. I mean, like at the end there when he was doing that sort of phaser thing. I don't even know how he's doing that, first of all, physically, how that works. Now, another great thing about Greg's playing is his use of bends. Check this lick out. This is just insane to me. <laughs> what? 
So he's doing this thing where he's basically walking up the scale and walking back down, but staying on the same fret and just bending. That is so hard for me at least. And I'm playing nines, by the way. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got tens on that guitar, maybe elevens, uh, but he's bending two whole steps. He's going up to C, there's your first whole step. And then from C to D. So that's the first challenge. But the real trick with this kind of lick is coming back down, going from D back to C, back to the original note. So going and not sounding flat or sharp. You have to go from I can't even do it here. That's a real tough lick. Really, really tough. It doesn't sound that hard, but try it. Try and play it in the pocket at his tempo with his feel. It's really tough. And then he's going Lick, man. That's all G minor pentatonic, right? He's not playing out, he's not playing anything crazy. It's the way he's playing it, right? He could just go. That would be sort of the straighter way to play it, but he's doing all of these sort of ghost note bends, these ghost bends, to make that lick his own. And that's what I mean. I mean, it's so unique to be able to do that so effortlessly. I mean, I've, I've sat here for the last probably five minutes of video footage that we've edited out <laughs> trying to get even somewhere close to being able to play that lick. It's, uh, it's no joke, man. That's nuts. There's one of those Greg-isms right there. And now we start to go into like Greg land with the solo. What even is that? <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, he starts in somewhat familiar territory, but with his own twist, his own personality, and his own sort of virtuosity uh, imposed on these relatively simple uh, ideas. 
and then he just takes the solo to a place that only he can go. I mean, I don't even know what is happening physically on the fretboard towards the end of that solo. I mean, I've seen it in person firsthand. I don't, I don't know how he's doing this stuff. And as if all that wasn't impressive enough, he's also one hell of a funk player. Ebony is the hue, Scooby Dooby Doo. Let us hear both pickups together and see what the heck we got going down here. Yeah. This thing looks sexy, does it not? Shiza. It does. I mean, like, what What else is there to say? I mean, he can play everything. He can just play everything, and he's he's just good at it. He's good at everything. All that all that stuff was just improvised. He just improvised a funk jam in E, comping chords, and, and utilized the entire fretboard and was up the fretboard, down the fretboard. I mean, that's an example of his just pure mastery of the guitar. He has no barriers between his ideas and his hands. He just thinks of something quick, on the fly, and then plays it. I genuinely think Greg is one of the best guitar players around today. Um, and I feel very fortunate to be able to call him a friend at this point. And uh, yeah, you couldn't, like I said at the beginning of the video, you couldn't ask for a better, nicer, more funny uh, person than Greg Koch. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know who else you'd like to see in this series in the comments section down below. Go follow Greg. He live streams on YouTube with his band, like weekly, two or three times a week. And if you're not hip to those live streams, you should be. You should absolutely go check them out. They are worth just, I mean, it's basically a free concert he puts on every week and he's doing all this stuff. It's mind boggling. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have a brand new mini course, the Bare Bones Guitar Theory course. And also be sure to subscribe. According to my analytics still, over 60% of the people that watch this channel on a regular basis are not subscribed and it really does help the channel out when you just click that red button. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Rhett Shull and remember there is no plan B.